been a big summer for Fresno Pacific Athletics as the Sunbirds prepare for their first season as an NCAA member. We will talk to Athletic Director Dennis Jansen about the move into the NCAA and sit down with men's soccer player Paul Eastless. It is all coming up right now on Inside Fresno Pacific Athletics. Welcome to the first episode of Inside Fresno Pacific Athletics, where we will be giving you an all-access look to what's going on with the Sunbirds on and off the field. I'm your host, Katie Rocca. Three years ago, Fresno Pacific began the long journey of moving from the NEIA into the NCAA, when a team of athletic administrators decided to make the move into the most recognizable name in collegiate athletics. We sat down with Athletic Director Dennis Jansen to talk about the move, the changes, and what it all means for the Sunbirds. Well, athletics at Fresno Pacific has always been very important to us. And, and one of the things that uh, we want to make sure that we do is provide a great experience for student athletes and for students in general. And the other thing that we, we began to realize was the impact that successful intercollegiate athletics could have on the overall university externally as well as internally. The California Collegiate Athletic Association, outstanding conference. but we would have been the only private university in that, in that uh, conference. And again, philosophically, we felt way more comfortable and frankly more welcomed in the Pac West. And, and this year we're excited to be a part of them formally competing for championships and just beginning that, that our history as an NCAA institution. One of the things that you hear often at Fresno Pacific are the words, empowering leaders, transforming lives. It is our mission, it is what we do, it is who we are. And again, successful athletics can create and build platform and awareness and allow us to accomplish that mission. One of the great things about moving to the NCAA Division II, life in the balance, is that our mission as a Christian university has not and will not change. It is who we are. We believe in, in a mission that is founded on Christ. It is part of the motto of this university, and, and we're just excited to be a part of that. The move to the NCAA has had far more impact than I ever even imagined it might be. I knew people would be appreciative, they would be enthusiastic, uh, they would be curious. But what I've heard from alumni, from community leaders, to uh, just simply friends, everything from it's about time to we are so excited about what is going on at, at your university or at, at my alma mater. Uh, and so I, I think the response has been just overwhelming. And again, I think it just affirms the move, it affirms who we are as a university, and it affirms our future. One player who might know better than any other about Fresno Pacific Athletics is senior men's soccer player, Paul Eastless. A hometown kid from Bullard High, Paul came to FPU just looking for a place to continue playing the sport he loves. What he found was something much more meaningful. I had some, some complications with the school that I was originally supposed to attend. And I think two days before training camp started here, I called Jaime and asked him if I could come onto the team and he made it work. I was able to stay close to my family and all my friends. You know, they still come out to the games to, to support me. and. Um, you know, I just, I really like FPU. It's just a great school. You know, I just, it's just filled with a bunch of people who, who are here to support you. You know, it's, it's just a great environment. You know, everybody loves to play in front of their home crowd. You know, I, I definitely noticed a change in, in my performance and, and how fast I'm able to heal once I accepted God into my life. Um, you know, there's some people I've met along the way that have kind of fueled that for me. So I think that's probably the best thing I've gotten out of coming to FPU. Before I had a lot of trouble coming back from injuries, and I mean I was I was a good player, but nothing compared to to how I've been playing since I've accepted him into my life. You know, I think I think Jaime is just a he's just a great coach. You know he's the icon of you know Sunbird soccer. He's he's just a really great coach. You know he supports you, you know when you're down and when you're high. So it's it's great to have him on the sideline with us. 
at FP, we, we play soccer. You know, we move the ball. We, we try to play with soccer's, the way soccer's supposed to be played. This year we have a lot of firepower, um, especially in our attacking, our attacking portion of the team. And going into Division Two, the style of soccer is different. You know, the, the speed of the game is a lot faster. We know we brought in players that fit the style that we're going to play this year. So I think we have the advantage, you know, of beating teams because we have a lot of speed and we're a lot more physical than we were last year. That's a definite plus for us. I mean, I'm excited. You know, I. I always hate when, when we have to take the break and, and wait for the next season to come. Uh, so, you know, I'm just I'm just ready to put my cleats back on and get on the field. You know, I, like I said, I want to win some, some titles here. I want to go out with a bang my senior year. One, two, three, burst! With the move to the NCAA comes NCAA competition. Here's a look at the first week of Fresno Pacific Games as a member of the NCAA Division II. Starting tonight at 7 p.m. is the first ever Division II home game for the Sunbirds when the men's soccer team takes on a tough Cal State Stanislaus team at Ramirez Field. Beginning on Friday, the volleyball team will be in Hawaii for their first action of the season in the Honolulu Invitational. On Saturday, the Sunbirds have a full slate of games. Men's and women's soccer will be in action at home against Cal State Monterey Bay and Southern Oregon. Men's water polo will also see their first action of the season at the Whittier Invitational in Southern California. And finally, Tuesday, the women's soccer team will travel down to Bakersfield to take on the CSU Bakersfield Roadrunners at 7 p.m. Don't forget that you can stay up to date with all the latest Fresno Pacific news at fpuathletics.com and on Twitter at FPU Sunbirds. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time on Inside Fresno Pacific Athletics.